Yeah, just a outstanding job by our pitching staff today. I mean, Hagan Smith, had a, it didn't go good for him last week at Florida. I mean, he took it personal. He worked extremely hard this week. He got with coach, and they did a lot of talking and had a great bullpen session, and uh, he's on a mission. He pitched really well. He didn't overthrow. Throw the ball 92, 93 miles an hour, 91, um, all with his fastball, and then using secondary pitches, using effective. He, you know, he can throw harder than that, And uh, but today he really pitched, and uh, – you know, he reared back every now and then, let it fly, but but he just he just really spotted it up, did a nice job pitching in and out. And, um, you know, Vermillion, I thought he, you know, he came and gave up a single, it happens. The walk, uh, you know, that was a little bit, that was a little disappointing. And then uh, he got, a, got an out though, got a couple outs and uh, we just felt like we needed to turn, you know, Barry around. He's, he's a great hitter either way, but just take your chances a little bit there. And, you know, Evan walked him, but then he got Doherty out and, See, that was a huge, huge, uh, you know, huge pitch when he got him to fly out to right. And then, you know, Evan finishing up the game there on not a bunch of pitches was really good to see. So uh, just enough offense, um, hit some balls hard that uh, made it to the warning track. A couple of three got knocked down and hit a couple of really nice opposite field home runs. And I don't know, just a really good win for our team. Played outstanding defense, especially in the infield. Uh, made some great plays. David, what about Turner today? I think it was three, hit three hits, big home run, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, obviously he's one of our best hitters, hitting in the three, four hole, usually somewhere in there. And he had a, he had a big day for us. Um, just, you know, taking that off-speed pitch and just driving it the other way. And right when we left the bat, he knew it was out of the park, especially that where he hit it and the way the wind was blowing, that it was, it was going to gain momentum as it got up in the air a little bit. And it did. It was – that was a big swing. We were up one or nothing at a time. All of a sudden, we're up three to nothing. And the way Hagen was throwing, we we felt like that, uh, you know, we were in good shape, at least for a while. You touched on it a little bit in your opening, but <clears throat> Hagen, was there anything different from last week as far as technical, mechanical, or is it just mentality, or, or what was different? Um, I, I would say he just looked really under control today. I think you'd have to talk to Coach Hobbs about that if we're going to get into the mechanics of him. Um, he, he definitely – repeated his delivery today, which means if you're doing that, you usually you're staying online and you're going to, you're going to throw the ball over the plate. And he did that tremendous today. Uh, you know, we walk one, uh, super job against a good team like that. Good hitting team. I mean, you know, that is, that is a very scary lineup over there. So, uh, he, he did a tremendous job. I know you always want to get off to a good start, but with the threat of the storms tonight, was there anything talking to the team about maybe a little bit extra urgency to get off to a good start? With no, not time? not really. You know, I, I think in the past maybe I've done that, and I think it backfired. I, I think they start to speed up a little bit or try a little too hard. So I didn't say anything to them. Um, you know, just that. Uh, you know, I told the coaches right before the game. I got word from Roy Jacobson, who kind of keeps an eye on everything, the weather. He said, it looks like the we're going to be okay. It's going to push back a little bit. So I did, but I didn't bring that up to the team. I just didn't, you know, we just told them we're moving the game up an hour, you know, got that information out to them today. We ate an hour early. We just went through regular routine and, um, you know, because they know that if we didn't get it in today, we'd finish it tomorrow. And then the the way the rule reads, if, if that would have happened, then the second game would have been a seven inning game. So. He went to three ball counts the first two batters that he faced tonight. He's, he's done that some in the first inning, and he's had some walks. What was different tonight for him to get out of that situation? I think he just kind of calmed down a little bit out there. You know, it's like he usually has one inning like that, and it's usually the second or third. Today it was in the first, and then he recovered, got out, got through it. And then after that, you know, obviously he worked, he worked ahead a lot and uh, threw strike one with his breaking ball, change up and fastball, obviously, and – um, I don't know. I think, you know, he's young and he's just now he's starting to gain experience. So he's learning how to settle down a little bit. You think the fact that he had a, a full rest had any impact at all? Uh, it definitely, definitely helps. You know, I would, I would, you can, you can ask him, um, but I, I would say, you know, having a, a really good week to, to get things right and rest up a little bit after a short week was definitely a, a plus for our pitchers. One more on Smith. Did he use his changeup more today? Uh, 
I guess I can't more than what more than normal or more than a more song. than normal. Yeah, I would say against certain hitters, he threw a lot of change ups. I don't know exactly how many, um, but he he used it a lot. He was definitely double digits with it, and uh, you know he kept it down. It was pretty effective. Seemed like you had a couple of highlight worthy plays on defense. Just what do you make of their play over these last two games, especially when LSU just kind of struggled a little bit? Yeah, um, you know the play that battles made up the middle and then on the other side of that that play was Stovall picking it out of the dirt and staying on the bag and uh you know then I don't know if it's the same inning inning later they had a run on first second whatever and maybe first and and uh and then Wallace made a dive and play got up and threw him out that was I think what they were just you know it just they were seeing that it was going to take something special to beat us today when you start making plays like that you know, just Evan Taylor, you brought him back today. You know, just what have you seen from him, kind of his evolution and kind of being a guy that you can go to each weekend? Yeah, he uh, – I mean, we thought in the fall, you know, that he he was he was going to be a guy and he was going to be a big piece of our bullpen for sure. Um, he's been doing it all year. He goes in with the same look on his face as if nobody's on or if people are on base. He just – he's got a good demeanor out there, and, and now he knows that – he's good enough to be out there and he's good enough to get out really good hitters. Um, you know, we don't worry about him a bit. And, uh, you know, I like having him out there. I believe LSU came into the weekend last in the SEC and hitting against lefties. Did that kind of make it easier for you to go back to him today and kind of let him finish it out or it was just kind of a situation? Well, I didn't know they were last against lefties. I just knew their splits that they, they struggle against some left-handed pitching at least early. And that can change one day, you know, can have a really good day and those flips those numbers pretty good because you have a lot more bats against righties than you do lefties. Um, but yeah, we we knew that. And um so we felt like if 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 Hagan go out there and give us, you know, some good some good innings, we, you know, we had a chance to win the ball game and that maybe he'd get him out. And he did. Um, you know, just a super job by by our two lefties, that's for sure. When you brought in Taylor, did was the hope that he would finish it out for you? Yeah, so that was what I asked coach, you know, because, you know, they're getting ready. Barry's getting ready to come up, and we got a right-hander up there. And it looked like to me that, you know, Zebulon was having trouble landing his off-speed pitch. So what's Barry going to sit on a fastball? And, you know, all of a sudden it's 4-3. And so we – when I talked to coach about making the change – to bring Evan in, I just said, if, if Evan kind of runs out of gas, who are we going to go with? So then we discussed that a little bit, and then I, I made my move and went out there. Yeah, you mentioned the scary lineup. I think they're batting 303 coming in. And um, to shut them out, I mean, how impressive is that for you all to do that? Oh, real impressive. I mean, it's hard to shut anybody out, especially a team with that lineup. Um, you know, it's just you have to – you have, to, you have to pitch really well. You have to field well. You have to get a break here or there, or get lucky, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think we got a little bit of all that today. And then this is the first time Arkansas has ever taken three straight series from LSU. I don't know if you knew that, but what, what do you think no. of that? That's great. <laughs> okay. I said one more. I know you know you thought Turner would be good or else you wouldn't have brought him in, but how would you assess his season? Has he been maybe even a little better than you thought? Or just how would you assess – his contributions to you guys? He's been awesome, man. I mean, he just came in, fit in with the guy. I think he liked the way we ran our program. He got bigger and stronger. I mean, he's already big and strong, but he got stronger. And catching, throwing, hitting. I mean, he, to be, we knew at the end of fall he was the full package. And that if he could stay healthy, he's going to hit in the middle of our lineup. So, uh, I would say he's probably, you know, up to this point, he's been better than I would have expected. And I think his better days are in front of him. I just have one more uh We've talked a lot throughout the year that the wind has knocked down a lot of home runs. How nice was it to see maybe the benefit from the wind today? Yeah. I think I think the ball that, that Gregory hit was really hit hard, but it it had a side spin on it and it took off. I mean, I think it would have it might have got over the outfielder's head, it might not have, but it probably wouldn't have got up into the seats or wherever it hit. Um, you know, and the one Michael hit, I mean, he did a great job of, like I said earlier, of just staying through that off speed pitch and right when he hit it, I knew it was gone and it took a nice little ride on that. You know, but we also had two or three balls knocked down. I think Webb might have had two home runs opposite field today. Um, you know, a couple other balls probably got knocked down. So, uh, but it, it's honestly, we've, we, they, they have learned how to hit to the wind a little bit. 
in our batting practice today in pregame, there was, I'd say 80% of it was going through the middle and going the other way with the left-handers. And, uh, you know, two lefties got us a three-run lead pretty quick. And Lanzilli hit with the ball Lanzilli hit. You know, last night I thought it was going out of the park. This one, I didn't think it was going out of the park. It went out of the park by a lot. So I don't know what's going on up there. You know, there's a lot of swirling. But, uh, yeah, we've had we've had a lot of balls knocked down, and we've, we've hit to it a little bit lately. So uh, it, was, it was really good to see our guys take some really, really mature type of bats. I wonder how pleased you've been with the way the teams bounce back from last weekend. And is there a certain area that you've seen where they've improved in the last six or seven days? Um, I would say, you know, the bullpen midweek was incredible. And I mentioned that maybe in here yesterday and the other day. It didn't matter who we played. Those guys really pitched well. And velocity, location, and just, we're probably going to need some of those guys tomorrow. Um, so hopefully they can duplicate it. But, uh, you know, maybe confidence a little bit from what we saw on Tuesday. Gave our team a little bit of confidence as far as going forward that we've got enough pitching to get us through some of these weekends and that uh, and the midweek games we have left. Um, I think, you know, we, we scored a lot of runs on Tuesday and had some fun, relaxed, got over a couple of losses and got our mind ready for, for LSU. Um, I'd probably have to say not playing on Wednesday might have been a plus because of the weather. Um, gave us a day to really discuss the series and, you know, what we needed to do and how we needed to play and maybe some adjustments. And, and we did that a little bit. And uh, – We've played two really good ball games uh, defensively and, and on the mound, and and we've hit enough to win. I know you, you win an SEC series. That's a great weekend, no matter who you're playing. But now you do have a shot at the sweep. I think Arkansas has only swept LSU three other times in all, all the years since joining the SEC. How do you feel about tomorrow? How, how do you feel like Jackson will bounce, bounce back May from a, you know, not a great game at Florida? Well, I think Jackson will have a good outing. And, and I feel good about the guys that are going to be ready behind him. Uh, Sundays, a lot of times, it's – I know it's not a Sunday. We'll call it game three Saturday. It's It, it means a lot. I mean, it, it, you can separate yourself a little bit if you find a way to win tomorrow. So – and our guys know that. They, You know, we don't have to tell them every time, hey, tomorrow, this is what it means. I mean, they know. These guys are smart. So, uh, it'd be, it would be big if we could find a way to win again tomorrow. Okay.